suction cups. Take two suction cups, place one on top of each corner of the screen. Once you did that, go ahead and grab the suction cups and prying against the screen assembly with your fingers, go ahead and pull that out just like so. It'll come right out and that's it. The screen is being held in by eight screws. There's four on this side, one, two, three, and four. And there's four on this side, one, two, three, and four. Tweezers are nice to have for this procedure because of the magnetic um, pieces that are on the screen. When you unscrew a screw, the magnetic piece might take the screw over. So you want to be able to get it out with a pair of tweezers. Please note that if one of the screws falls into the casing during this process, it's okay because we're going to be able to get it out. Now that we undid all eight screws, what you want to do is you want to grab the screen by the corners here and pry it out like so. Once you pry it out, you can tilt it at an angle and look down. Before you even touch this, make sure that you don't have a power cord plugged into this iMac because this power supply right here is live. That means if you touch it while it's plugged into the wall, you're gonna receive a shock. While you have the LCD cracked, what you wanna do is in the top left corner right here, there is a cable. This cable, you could just grab it with your fingers and just gently pull to the right on it. Comes out just like that. By pulling this cable out, it, this will allow you to lower the screen a little more. The next cable we want to remove is the uh, power cable from the converter for the LCD. You can remove this by getting your fingernail on this latch right here and just pulling it towards you and pushing it down like so. The next cable we want to remove is your LCD temperature sensor. You can grip this and pull up on it. It'll come right out. The next cable we want to remove is the uh, video cable from the LCD. It has two little feet that you can press, squeeze together, and just pull up. Now that those cables are out, we can go ahead, lift up the LCD, The next thing we want to go over is how to replace the super drive. The first thing you want to do is you want to trace down this sensor right here. Unplug it from the logic board. Then we have four screws. One here, one here, one here, and one right here. Let's go ahead and remove these T10 screws. Once we remove the T10 screws, you can grab your hand um, underneath the left side of the CD-ROM and just gently pry it at an angle like this and then pull it to the left and it should come right out just like that. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and unplug its SATA and power cable. There's your drive. Once you have your replacement drive, let's put this right back. Go ahead and plug in the SATA power cable first. Just to note, there's two little holes and uh, two little pins right here that you want to align. Um, when putting this in.
once you got all four of those screws in go ahead and reconnect the temperature sensor to reinstall the LCD you want to go ahead and take the LCD unit and put it in at an angle like this on the bottom first be careful as the iMac might turn um, you want to be able to hold it very firmly and the iMac and control its uh, upward and downward movement first off we want to go ahead and plug in the temperature sensor once the temperature sensor is plugged in the next thing we want to plug in is the LCD converter just click it right in like so the next thing we want to plug in is the actual LCD cable lastly we want to plug in the first cable that we took out right here this cable goes right inside of this little lever and it just clicks in like so okay now we want to shift the LCD into the correct position and just push it in gently tilt it back something to note when reinstalling these T10 screws uh, when you're putting the LCD back together because it has magnets on the side here uh, it's very difficult try to use a magnetic screwdriver if you don't have a magnetic uh, T10 screwdriver try to use a combination of tweezers uh, and and the screwdriver at the same time. Reinstall four 10 T screws on each side. Once you have your LCD back in, you want to take your glass and preferably a microfiber cloth and you want to gently rub out any dust that has collected while you've been working on the Mac. Then you want to do the same exact thing with the screen. Doesn't have to be perfect, but just nice and clean. Then what you want to do is having the silver side up, you want to go ahead and put it towards yourself like so and start flipping it up. As you go up, carefully hold it, it's going to use this magnets to lock itself.